Hello everybody, this is me, uh, Qua. Today we're reviewing the Transformers Legends uh, God Bomber. And we won't be covering his base mode because it's just kind of a pile of poopy. And, uh, yeah. And, um, so yeah, here's God Bomber. Um, he attaches the Prime by kind of just, that just kind of, these little tabs kind of fit in here. Uh, let me, I think I might have to transform this because I don't think I could actually... Get that in here without like. Hold on, I'm gonna do it off camera real quick. Yeah. Oh fuck. Okay. Okay, there we go. So once you get it in there, it's locked in place. Um, but yeah, we'll be right back real quick because an accessory went flying, so I'm gonna go get it. Okay, and we are back. And the accessory went flying is this, uh, is God Bomber's helmet. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it attaches right there. You have to kind of split the legs open to kind of get it moving. But yeah. And I think there's a proper way to seat the cannon, but I didn't find it, so yeah. Um, no, it can't. You can't attach to this prime, the power of the Titan's Return one, because it doesn't have that connection port. So yeah, you can't throw God Bomber along with this. <laughs> but we'll detach him. We'll actually move him to the side, and yeah, that's the color differences, as you can see between these two. And uh, the feet <coughs> are kind of the important part here. This reuses the Magnus feet, and these are completely new feet. Um, another important part too. Okay, these. Okay. So if we go flip that over, um, you can see that this middle, pretty much the panel that attaches from here upwards, is new because there's two hinges here, whereas there's only the singular hinge here. That's important when we get into vehicle mode or robot mode for combining. Um, and uh, yeah, and we'll go over that. When we go over that, I did paint his crouch uh, white. But yeah, that was like, I did that ages ago. <laughs> so I'm going to move him out of the way because we're talking about God Bomber. So yeah, first we want to do is do that. Um, take out that. Remove this, remove that. You could place that back in here. Just kind of slide it. We're going to open this, remove the Titan Master. Oh, yeah, one thing you can do is you can put the Titan Master in here. Or you're able to, anyways. You could do that. Uh, you could, in theory, just curl the Titan Master up. And I thought you were able to close it, but I guess not. Um, but yeah, no, you can fit the Titan Master in here. I guess he can go kind of use it as a turret or something and go pew, 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 motherfucker. Pew, 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 pew. He also does have the uh, feet holes there, so you could have him standing as well. Do not know why you would want. Hold on, let me see if I can get him standing in that. Yeah, I not wanting to cooperate, so not really going to force that. Anyways, we'll get the head. You'll line it up like so. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, before we do that, here's some detailing. It's a new mold, I believe, for the Titan Master. For both the body and the face. But I'll show off the face right here. Hold on. There we go. And then we'll put on his helmet. And that's how that looks. I could... Okay, cool. Oh yeah, then there's a tab right there that tabs into that, and you got a sword. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Okay, detach the arms. Uh, you don't really have to take. Oh, okay, we'll we'll just take these out just to make that easier. Um, 
you really don't have to like take apart anything. You could keep those hands there, but those are kind of the most finicky parts, at least for me. Move the legs up. All right. Once we do that, you want to fold out that part, which will actually be the front of the foot, at least in robot mode. Uh, main robot mode, because then you got God Jin Rai, which is derives from this. So hold on, you want to ah, flip out that piece, uh, fold this in, because this is a crotch piece for uh, God Jin Rai. Um, do that, pull that. There's a tap right there. Or, ah, actually, hold on, let me get that into frame. There's a tab right there, tab into that slot. You do both on the same side. All that cool shit. Uh, these will be kind of out. You just fold those in. Okay. Boop. We'll kind of go back up. Rotate those around. Rotate those around. Ah. Well, ah. that. It, it's kind of coming untabbed. Like, this thing's very finicky. I will say. Very, very fucking finicky. It's like the opposite of uh, Optimus. <laughs> of, uh, not Optimus. Of Star Saber. Of that recent Star Saber. Because that thing is solid. This thing's like finicky as fuck. I will say though, unlike uh, uh, Victory Leo, this God Bomber does have quite a presence in person. I was expecting this to be like a Voyager size figure when I first got this. Um, and I was pleasantly surprised because this thing's like a fucking leader and a big leader at that too. Tallow is shit though, but um, I, I I'd say it makes up for that in just its sheer fucking size. But yeah, it's just like fucking gargantuan. <laughs> Okay, um... Okay. Ah, shit. Okay, we're back and everything's more or less attached um yeah um i had to stop it for a couple of reasons but yeah um but yeah here's him in robot mode and uh yeah we'll go over articulation uh standard titan master head articulation nothing too crazy it's just mainly just swivel and not a whole lot of tilt um and uh, the arms, hold on, I gotta hold this so that way this thing doesn't can go out that far. Technically this joint can move up as far as that minicon ass looking port goes up. Um, okay, and then it's, we're gonna attach the arm back on here. The thing I hate about this figure the most is the fucking arms. They're fucking annoying. And also how the chest just connects. It's, it's, it's a fucking mess. Uh, we're going to lift the arms up. So that way we can talk about the legs. It can move up about that far. And if we move the crotch piece, it goes back about that far. You can get the leg all the way <laughs> Kind of like that. Um... Oh yeah, this figure has ankle tilt. Um, wasn't a common thing from this era. Actually, I don't, I can't really recall a figure that uh, does that from that, this era. This, the ankle tilt is more useful <laughs> in God Jinrai than it is in a God Bomber. Uh, it, this is why I fucking hate this thing. It looks cool, but like, fuck, it comes apart like crazy. Mine's even more so because there's, there's a certain chest tap that's like fucking busted in mine, so it's makes this thing even more unstable than it already 
was. I hate this thing. That looks cool, but I fucking hate it. Like, I, I, I sincerely do. We'll be right back real quick with this thing back in one piece, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, on a side note, you get 90 degrees at the knee, and it's technically double jointed, so, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. So, I'd point that out, but, yeah. Okay, here they are. While he's technically taller than him, um, the main part that makes the difference how these feet work, as you can see, the feet look different. These feet have the combiner ports to plug in with his legs. And um, I think how the chest combines here, because of how the chest pieces are different for these two, this kind of uh, attaches to that, I think, if I remember correctly. And then the specialized port, a uh, little hole right there, helps with getting the hand pieces on there um and uh i don't other than that there's not really anything too crazy diff okay so yeah as i was saying there's nothing too crazy different other than those points i mentioned um as far as tooling wise um and then also how the arms extend too on here because um yeah that whole thing the original toy doesn't do that because they're kind of repurposing the magnus arms more or less um so yeah and it's because of those reasons god bomber can't attach to uh gen Rai over here we'll move power master prime out of the way okay i'm gonna kind of reposition them hopefully he could stand on his own and we'll do some size comparisons first size comparison is with a previous review wheelie and the next size person is a future review as soon as I get the damn thing transformed because I haven't actually done it yet. Um, I've heard from some people it's a fucking nightmare. From other people it's okay, whatever. It's kind of a slog. But um, I don't think it could be any worse than MP36 if I'm being quite honest. Here is the Magic Square Megatron which fucking looks beautiful in robot mode. So that gives you a rough scale of everything. Figure feels great too. Um, I don't know if they use a different type of plastic with the metallic release, but it because I haven't. Okay, as I was saying about the Megatron, um, I haven't had a Magic Square figure that feels like a typical Magic Square as the Optimus I've had feels great. The um, hold on real quick. Yeah, no, as I was saying, the Optimus I have for Magic Square doesn't feel like how they typically say because it, it kind of has this nice matte finish paint that's a little it's weird to describe without actually showing you it maybe we'll talk about that someday i do have my first magic square optimus still in storage but yeah it's not the legend class one it was before they started doing this shit but yeah um looks very nice but yeah uh we'll get these out of the way he'll be a future review i don't know if he'll be before the other legend figures i'm getting in are but uh yeah so yeah, uh, without further ado, we will kind of disassemble this fool. Um, so yeah, we'll first disassemble the sword, or not disassemble it, but just remove it. Same thing with that, or remove the head. I'll show you what to do with that later. We'll just attach this to that for right now ah, that came off just put it back on put that all aside it'll take that apart and what we're going to do is just push the hand like so because optimus uses, still uses his robot mode hand so yeah just going to do that right now do the same thing on the other side boop Red detached legs um We'll kind of fiddle with this a little later. Um, so we're going to boop like that. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot. Okay, so he does have ankle tilt. I I think it might be for the base mode. Because you can't get any use in, in God Bomber in this robot mode. But then you can't get any use out of it in God Jinrai. Because, yeah, that's what it does in God Jinrai mode. So to get it like that, you just fold in that 
pull that like so, move that, boop. There you go. Now, we gotta grab Genrai over here and do some transforming. So you just kind of fold back the heel, do that. And then that red little thing plugs into that hole. Okay, I'm like trying to remember how this works. Because I don't want to break anything because like both of these figures aren't exactly cheap. So you plug it in, you hear a click. Uh, once you got it, you, you, you got it. Um, this thing doesn't really hold in securely at all, so... Yeah, that's... The main problem with this... This mold... <sighs> this fucking mold has issues. Like, I have the third version of the Prime mold, so it's not exactly the most stable list of things. And then I have God Bomber. It, it, it's weird because Takara at this time was known for having very high quality products. This is a case where Takara's QC unanimously was a uh, Savage dog shit. So, um, yeah, so God Bomber's QC is just awful. As you guys saw earlier in the review. Okay. I don't know, I feel like I'm slowly losing my mind over here trying to like fix fucking generalize fucking legs. This is like an issue I'd still be having with the uh, Titan Returns one. Because uh, I know a lot of people at, at the time when Gen when uh, God Bomber was first announced, people were wondering if they're going to make a version or make it compatible with the US version. but. That never happened, and we got a U.S. version of Jinrai, but we never got the uh, the other version. So okay, so I show you how the feet are supposed to look as soon as I get these fucking tabs in. Fucking Christ. Okay. Um, nothing really sits in securely. It, it's just kind of yeah. It kind of sucks. And it kind of sucks the perfect effects kits are like stupid expensive because they kind of fix some of these stability issues. But yeah. So that's how that looks. Oh yeah, and you accidentally extended that, but we're supposed to do that. So do that on both sides. Wada bing, wada boom. Um, we'll actually put these on last as we're going to actually put this on first. However, we're going to kind of... We're gonna move that back so that way we get space here. Open up the chest area, folding that spot back in. But we're gonna put little the little Titan Master sitting inside here. So ah, pff, son of a bitch. He fell. But luckily he just fell right underneath me, so we good. You push that in like so. Um and then fuck, okay. I might try it's been a fat minute since I've done this, so I'm like trying to remember how everything goes. Um, is that okay? Yeah. Okay. So I believe you fold this to the side, and then I think the I'm trying to remember how the wing piece goes. Cause there's a certain order. That's the annoying thing about this is when you're fucking fiddling with it. There's a certain order of operations you kind of have to go into. To like do everything. And it could be quite annoying. Or be perceived as quite annoying. Um, okay. Okay, I think I got it. So I think you have to fold it like this, like how I have it on this side. So to do that, you just kind of fold that in. Okay, make sure this just kind of, this piece just kind of goes into th that area. Move the leg, move that, boop, like so. I don't even know if I'm doing this right. Okay, then we'll worry about just tabbing all this shit in and doing that a little later. Because now we gotta 
so yeah this will kind of fit in in a certain way you just kind of feel it lock in then you got to bring this shit back and then there's some shit that has to hook on uh because i believe there's a clip that just clips on to like right under here um let me move that on ah shit Okay. Oh, okay. I think I remember how this part works. So there's a tab that tabs in the. Okay, there's a tab right there. Tabs into that slot. Um, you gotta both kind of bend the plastic a little and get it in. It's 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 it's, uh, it's not the best feeling, but you you saw it the first time, so I'm just gonna. Do the second time off screen, and of course that that like fucking instantly like oh yeah no that that works. Okay, so okay, I don't think I got the wings right. Um, Cause I feel like this whole back section isn't. Something just feels off about it. Here. Um, hold on, let me. No. Huh. I'm like trying to. F actively, like, figure this the hell out. Because I thought it went this one way. And it's like seeming like it's not, but I okay. I think yeah, I want to say it was shit. Okay, I think I got this more or less. Um, oh, there is one thing you can do. I'll I'll show you. Uh, okay. So once you get this connected, right. You could attach God Bombers. Ah, fucking son of a bitch. This thing gets fucking top heavy. Um, it will start to kind of lose its balance. Um, that, again, like I was saying earlier, this thing ain't stable for jack shit. So, yeah. Um, anyways, as I was saying, you can fit, you see these tabs there. Or, wait, no, I actually just the side of the helmet. Or. It might be these tabs. I can't fucking remember. Anyways, it's supposed to tab into there. Like so. I'm gonna try to see if I can actually get this fucking back here. Okay, there we go. Got it back there. That's one method of storage. We'll pit the cannon on so that way he stops leaning fucking backwards. Um, okay. Um, cool. Okay. So now we got that part done. What we now gotta do is get the forearms on, which is, thank God, the easy part. So we kind of do this. I think everything just kind of... Ah just kind of folds around I want to say ah fuck these fucking legs <laughs> I don't mean to be like so loud and vulgar right now but it's just like ugh, this thing fucking irritates my soul and it's like multiple reviewers did say this thing's kind of dog shit and I was like oh it's probably not probably just bitching and moaning and uh like, why did I have to not listen to them? If I just did, uh, I would not be. Uh, I, hate, I hate the fucking legs. The fucking legs. Fucking legs. Uh, fucking irritating. Okay. Okay, so yeah supposed to wrap around like that you tap it in boop that folds up and that's how it's supposed to look on that side 
We'll try to do the same thing on the other side. Can't guarantee any promises. Uh, but yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna get that in there. Cause like a piece has to slide in here or some shit. I, I can't remember. But yeah, you're supposed to have a piece kind of slide in there. That close and then close that up. And okay, if we. There's like a thing falling off this thing like every two seconds. It's, it's fucking irritating. These, these legs aren't fucking shambles. Uh, the, I, I'm just gonna stop real quick. I'm just getting too flustered. Okay, here's God Jin right in robot mode. And it has all the same articulation as Power Master Prime. Just, uh, kind of neutered because, um, everything likes to fall apart. That's the theme with this figure. Everything likes to fall the fuck apart. <sighs> That's just not fun. Um, I would like to get the upgrade kits to see if it really does improve this figure. Especially the ones for the fucking legs. Um, I thought I mistransformed the wings. But that's actually how they're supposed to be. I remembered it correctly. So, woohoo for me. Um, honestly, they look kind of hideous that that, oh, that way. Uh, stock. Um, cannon droops. Shitty tolerances. I sure I could probably fix that floor polish, but it's like, it's like they put it in the back when it probably that that mount probably should have been centered, so that way it wasn't like drooping that bad. But also, it probably should have been. This is the one time I'm gonna say it probably should have been pinned in, <laughs> but I don't know. Or I had like a secondary support as well. Or something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, if size comparisons, let me get some stuff out. I would compare Star Saber to him, but um, my Star Saber is up on the shelf, and I don't want to knock like 90, 95 million different things to get to him, so this is all we're going to see for comparisons. That uh, shit. There we go, I'm just getting on the nice stance. Let's see if I can get Wheelie in just a normal standing position so that way we get better. There we go. Damn it. Okay, there we go. That's the best I'm doing <laughs> right now. That's to give you size. So he gets like, what, like five inches? Five inches more? <laughs> With his little booties, as it were. Um. Yeah, no, it's it's a it's a it's a piece that looks cool, but it, it's a flaming pile of like dog shit. Like, it's miserable transforming. It's God Bomber has no redeemable qualities on his own. He's a fiddly mess, and then he makes this Optimus even more of a fiddly mess. And I'm just gonna say right now. Despite how much these legs on tab, it's not it's not even close to being as bad. I don't remember Magnus's legs being like this. Because I think Magnus' legs did something similar. Um, I don't remember Magnus's legs coming apart like every four seconds. So I may have to pick up another Magnus, which we already have reviewed it previously. I think that was like review 70 something. I think it was in the 70s because it was right around. Or 60s actually could have been because right around when I was reviewing the siege stuff and I reviewed the combiner worst Magnus because I got rid of him I I don't regret selling him but I kind of do at the same time it's, it's kind of weird um, that said with the new legacy not, not legacy studio series one it's supposed to be a commander class uh, we know for sure that he didn't retool off of the, um, the fucking, um, what was it, mold? It's not a retool off of the, uh, Kingdom slash Siege one. It's a, probably more than likely a new mold since it's at the commander size. Um, 
So yeah, I'm actually quite curious to see how that is. If it's just like the Earthrise Prime, but with armor. <laughs> if that is the case, that that'd be some wild shit. <coughs> but more than likely, it's probably a new mold. And I am looking forward to that new Magnus, and we'll talk about that. And maybe if I have a Combiner Wars Magnus at that point, we'll kind of do a little retrospective on that mold. And um, we won't take apart Jin right here because he's kind of this. Well, I guess, I don't know. I might buy an actual Jinrai Jinrai, the Japanese one. Uh, I keep him like off the shelf. It'd just be like in robot mode and then have the US one combined because they're, they're, they're the fucking same. It's like <coughs> very minor differences. So yeah, that, that'll that happen probably, I don't know. Probably won't be for a while. That's just what I'm going to say. We're at the point of the channel here and with my current job situation, I, I just can't be buying things willy-nilly. After... Play it strategic. <laughs> but yeah. And also my priorities on what I'm buying, collecting is shifted. So yeah. Um, I actually plan to do some non-transformer reviews soon. I have some Star Wars The uh, Vintage Collection stuff I could talk about. I have one Warhammer 40k thing I could talk about. Uh... I got more Marvel Legends than I know what to do with to talk about on here. Um, maybe I'll do it. I don't know. You know, I'll place a poll um, on a community post, let's say, on Monday. Just like the work week. You guys could vote to see what's next. Um, and that vote video will be... I'll put that arbitrarily Wednesday's video. Right now. Because I, I'm having to think about the schedule of stuff. Because. Okay, so. Okay, it would be next Saturday's review. I had to, like, kind of mentally kind of think about everything. No, that's. I think that might be next Sunday. Yeah, that would be next Sunday's video. You guys will get to vote on Monday for. Okay. Kind of had to think about it because there's other videos that, at the time of recording, haven't been uploaded yet. But by the time this gets uploaded, um, it will have been uh, recorded. So, yeah. Um, do you recommend God Bomber? That is a very, very, very hard no. I do not recommend it. If you really want a fucking God Genrai real bad at Chug scale, it's really the only option. I mean, if you have this Power Master Prime, it, it, it's pointless. But if you have the Titans Return, I think it was Velocitron box set, and or the uh, you got the Japanese version of uh, Genrai, then. Um, Get him if he's like under a hundred bucks. Usually he's not. He's like I think one fifty, two hundred, somewhere around there. I got mine to think like at like a hundred. I think I'd have to look back on eBay. It might have been actually less than that, knowing me. But uh, yeah, no. Uh, I. This is one of those things where it looks fucking cool, but I, I totally fucking regret it. Like I, I, I fucking do it. The figure pains me. It like hurts. It's just. Mm. It's not a fun time. It's not. I, I did not have fun doing this. And it's like. Prior to doing this. I was like. Oh yeah. I'll do it. It'll be a blast. And then. Um, a lot of feelings. I don't remember having. Came flooding. With this. And. Uh, utter. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, it's. Just. Yeah. Not fun. Uh this is probably the first time I've really not recommended anything. Uh, if you ever review Revenge of the Fallen Optimus, um, that's one of those ones where I'm like, I will have to put a discretion of like, the transformation is a bitch, but the robot mode's a work of fucking art. Because <laughs> that, 
Yeah, I remember that thing being a bitch to transform, but like I haven't transformed that thing probably since like two thousand like ten. Uh maybe eleven. It's been a fat minute since I transformed it. Mine's broken, my original one. Like a shoulder piece like snapped off. Really don't know how, but it did. Um, I could probably easily replace it with the Junker, but I'm actually kind of... I've been eyeballing for a while one of those move the best ones. Um, haven't really decided if I was going to buy it or not, but yeah. Um, but that's all the whole topic for another day because I don't have the space for that damn thing because that thing's fucking ginormous. Um, but yeah. Um, Star Saber is a much better figure. Um, but yeah, I, I, I honestly hope that we do Power Master Prime or Jin Rai, whichever one, don't really care. Um, personally, I would like them to do it in the style of Jin Rai, but just call it Power Master Prime, which is probably what they'll do. And, uh, don't have the Headmaster gimmick that this one has, just do straight up Power Master. And then, um,. Do it. Do him. Do Prime at the commander price point, and then uh, I don't mind them making God Bomber Hollow again, just to get him at a leader. But what I would like that to be is the same size as Prime, kind of like how this set is. And uh, but the one thing I would deeply appreciate is uh, it not being a flimsy piece of shit like this one is. I wouldn't even be mad if they did like a Titan class, like they just did. Oh, okay, Titan class Optimus. Ooh, Jin and uh, God Bomber. I mean, I I would not be mad about that. But if you're gonna pay the two hundred dollar price point or like the hundred one eighty or whatever the hell a Titan is now, um, you do gotta include some bonus shit with it. So it would be kind of nice. Um. Would be like a retool of the Minerva, maybe, in that box set, but that's an actual headmaster. Now the headmaster doesn't have to go into the vehicle mode or anything stupid like that. It could just float wherever. <laughs> maybe add a reused weapon for well, ah, well, reused weapon for Titan Returns or something, and then just throw it in there so that way you got to see technically. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just spitballing ideas here. Um. Yeah, like reuse Titan Returns Blitzwing's gun with that. Just repaint it. <laughs> uh, yeah, perfect. There you go. Boom. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Just thinking stuff. Uh, I would. I wouldn't be opposed to either if they did a box set like that. We getting a. Uh, like a proper crash. Crash bash or. Um, squeeze play. Those would be nice additions, even if they are retools. Uh, Nightbeat and Siren, I would like for them to be new molds. So for that idea that that they're kind of thrown out. Uh, same thing with Hosehead. Because uh, it's not really a fire trick mold that could work for Hosehead that could be a retool. Like, you could kind of finagle the Combiner Wars uh, Inferno slash Hot Swap mold. But uh, I, I think I'd just be pushing it because then you got a Combiner. And it's like, oh, uh, why is that there? <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah. Um, unless they denuded the combining bits of that and just kind of changed it, but the but the, then proportionally it still doesn't work for that character because he's like a lot. Um, what's the word? Bulkier. He's a bulkier boy and not a thin boy. So yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I honestly don't know how the fuck you would do that. What would be the bonus figure in there to make everything all the right price? But yeah. Um. Yeah, let's look at uh, God Bomber and God Jin Rai. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed me getting fucking frustrated with this and all that good shit. Uh, and yeah, next time we're back, um, I honestly don't know what we'd be talking about. Because uh, we'll probably be talking about Megs if, uh, that's, if the other New Age stuff doesn't get there before this. Or if my Tarn doesn't get there before those as well. Because that's still kind of in limbo right now. Or not limbo, but the pre-order just hasn't came in yet. But yeah. Uh, but yeah. 
Fred Reed Bat Bat. I hope you guys are not mad bat. Ah, fuck. I'm still doing it. Fucking qua. And uh, signing out here. You guys have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.